Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to embed processing.js into your HTML web page. So, let's get right into it. Alright, so first you're gonna wanna start off by going ahead and downloading processing.js at processingjs.org. So, you go here, click on the production one, just if you click on the development one and download that. Um, I tried it, it doesn't really work that well, so I recommend just downloading the production version. Just click on it, and then just press Control S, and you're going to download it. Um, you can download it wherever you want. I have it downloaded on my OneDrive, and I'll keep it there. Um, as you can see, I have it downloaded here. So, after that, once you download that, you have to go into your text editor, and create a very basic JavaScript file and this is also essential to making sure that your processing.js code works in your HTML document. Um, what you need is create first create a basic um, JavaScript file, um, name it init.js and type this in and save it. Save it in a place where it can be easily accessed by your HTML file. What I mean by that is make sure that it's in the same place where HTML file is. So it needs to be in the same folder. If it's in different folders, it'll be hard for you to um, uh, to make script tags that can access that JavaScript file named init.js. You can go ahead and create a basic HTML file, HTML5 document um, that has this. Um, the so just start off with the basics of a normal HTML document, you know, doc tag HTML, an HTML tag, head tag, title tag, right? And then before you close your head, type in these two script tags into your HTML document. Um, so script, right, and then the type will be text slash JavaScript, source equals processing, um, so th well, I have it as processing dash 1.3.6.min.js, but you can name it whatever you want, as long as it's, um, as long as it's, the source is actually the processing dot JS, um, file that you downloaded off of this web page. Once you and as you can see if I control click on this, it will actually take me to my processing.js document, right? Because it's the it's connected. And you, you need to make sure that your HTML web page knows that this is the correct processing.js document so you can refer to it whenever you write processing.js code in your file. So let's go back to our HTML page and once you've done that you also need to connect your init.js file with another script tag that also has type text slash JavaScript and close that. You don't need to put anything between the tags that's completely irrelevant and unnecessary. Then um, close your head tag and open your body tag. Uh, once you have that just this h1 really isn't necessary if you're not doing anything and you just want to put in processing.js but i just have it as a normal title to my web page and then this is the important part you need to have a another script tag but instead of type equals text slash javascript the type needs to be application slash processing and between these two start and script tags um this is where your um processing.js code will go um, if you put it anywhere else, it will not work. Um, and then after that, you need to make sure that you have these two tags with nothing between them. Um, a a close start canvas tag and a close canvas tag. These are important because they create the area where your sketch of processing.js code will go. And then you can just close up your HTML document with, um, with a closing body tag and a closing HTML tag. And that is basically it. So if you see that if if you want to see how this works, right, once you have all of this HTML written out and you take some normal processing.js code, right, for instance, I have some source code here, right, basic code, right, and um, go into your HTML file and put it between these two script tags, as I said before, the one that has type equals application slash processing and type it in paste it in, right, and save it, and go into your web browser, and double click on it to open it up in your web browser, and as you can see, the processing.js file is clearly here, and it's being animated, you see the 
little shapes blinking and going everywhere see completely works you have embedded a completely different language into your HTML web page and made your browser understand it and that's it I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time